we're going to see some lemurs and kinky jews and whatever else. I see a bearded dragon. It looks promising. This is the spot. Mm -hmm. Wizards for days. Euromastix. Bearded dragon. He's got a fun face on. He's so happy. There's a block through a monitor. Down here. Thank you. Hey. hey. How, are, How you? are you? Come on into the crazy house. <laughs> That's Rupert, he's a psycho man. Uh -huh. <laughs> <Super. laughs> he's so cute. He How old is he? Um, he's two and a half. <laughs> I have the kinkajou in here because we took in a kinkajou a couple weeks ago. Like, what is going on? Oh, he's like, I will fuck them up. <laughs> he's the guard lemur. He is. He's, he's so cute. You have no idea. He's like the sweetest thing in the world. Yeah. So to see him be mean like that, I'm like, bro, who are you? So he, he just doesn't like new people or? Yeah. yeah. No strangers. Yeah. Oh, it's little diaper. You guys building new cages? Yeah, we're trying to upgrade the owl monkey. Someone donated this cage to us, but the chain link was messed up. So we bought a new chain link. What do you mean? Like this. Oh yeah, the screen because it's on like a timer so it doesn't kill the battery. Yeah. Are these guys all friendly too? Oh yeah, they're freaking little dolls. <laughs> they'll come out and jump all over you. <laughs> they're so cute. It's dinner time. They're both girls? Well, yeah. We thought um, the one on the left, Walda, was Oswald. He was oh. sold to us as a boy. We never thought to look. Then when we got the female, so they could like have like husband and wife, I guess. Then I'm like, this looks just like the male owl monkey. And I'm like, Brian, this is a vagina. This is a girl. Oh, I'm like, they're God. two girls. So Oswald is now Walda. So she tricked us, right? Do the kids love playing with them and everything too? They're obsessed. They literally love playing with everyone. You lost your raisin. Just <laughs> like, hey. How cute are their faces? They're so cute. I literally can't get enough of them. They're so expressive with their big eyes and like. They're like little like. Old souls. Yeah. <laughs> Go. Let me get How cute are their faces? They're so cute. I they're literally so can't get enough fine. of them. They're so expressive with their big eyes and like. They're like little like old souls. Yeah. I love them. <laughs> you love them? I do. <laughs> Stitch is the new male Pikachu that we took in like three weeks ago. This is Pebbles. She, oh, she's we got cool. her. She was like, she tries to act all tough, but she's actually really sweet. Aww. Right? Oh, <laughs> the evil queen we call her. <laughs> yeah. She was really fat, so she's actually lost weight when, since we've gotten her. Oh, good. I had uh, one that I took care of for like about a month that was a baby and it was super skittish but then within the end of the month I had it like jumping all over me and yeah. ended up going to another home but I, I was like heartbroken to let it go because they're like babies you know they get yeah. attached to you and everything she's come a long way she wouldn't let us go near her she would yell and scream and like try to like bite and scratch us which she bit and scratched me a couple times but superficially not like super yeah intense. So, Just like warning stuff, basically, yeah. like, I don't like this, but... Stitches under there. 
Well, I see the bump. This is literally three weeks later, my finger healing. He got me really good. Right, Stitch, wherever you are? He's like, I. that's my girl. She tastes good. They're overall good though, right? Yeah. Really good. Right, baby girl? Do you mm -hmm. show her as well? Like, when you you guys do parties and stuff, right? Oh, no. These guys, they're, uh, no, they're not pets at all. No. As far as any exotic animal, these are the worst as far as We know. usually take Baymax, but then everybody's like, oh my god, I want one. They're so calm. I'm like, he's sleeping right now. Yeah. He wakes up at night and he's crazy. He'll get into everything. I'm like, so don't let this depict what you think they are. Yeah. But you mm -hmm. kind of have to experience them before no, you really know. When they wake up, they're like on a mission to destroy. They're like, I'm going to get yeah. into everything. You know. <laughs> I'm like, they're, it's so funny though to see what they get into. Yeah. Because they'll go in drawers. I once found the they rats falls asleep in the trash can. Like all over the place. They're so funny. It's like a toddler. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, how are you doing down there? Where is she? Oh, she's like inspecting her. Come here. She was climbing on me while you were looking at the pinky gym. Climbing on you? Uh-huh. I was just over here so you can find out why I don't want to be in heaven. <laughs> They're cute, right? They are. And those are all your reptiles I saw out there too? Oh yeah, his door open? Yeah, I, I gotta do some cage cleaning. Yeah, whenever that door's open, a lot of cage cleaning. cleaning. Yeah, I saw. <laughs> here, come help me with this real quick. You guys want to come see the rocks though over here. Okay. Here, we'll get this one back. Back in its cage. It's like, I'm just gonna stay on you. <laughs>
Oh yeah, that's about the size mine was. You get them as the size of a quarter, and you don't realize. Something. And then yeah, and they outlive you and everything. Yeah. Um, but outdoors, oh, he's already digging. Bro. He's digging right there. These guys are fucking expert diggers. Oh, <laughs> they did tell us. I'm gonna have to reinforce something there. Oh yeah, I found bait here. Do you want to feed him lettuce? Sure. He's so funny. He'll like eat it like a little dog. <laughs> You got the kink of you on him? Yeah, I found him. He go, I like checked. He got like special spots, but he goes during the day. <laughs> you ever go to like Publix and Winn Dixie and ask them for the trash stuff? They don't. They're like, we're not allowed to do that. I'm yeah, like, they mean? told me the same thing, but I ended up finding people who still got me some stuff. And then if you go in the back at night, they throw them all out. And like you can just go pick up a whole big box full of lettuce I'll and everything. Just check. Yeah, and then the other place where I thought they let me, they like get like money back for um for the stuff the that, stuff goes, that bad. goes bad. I'm like, ugh. <laughs> yeah, we took him in last year. They're like, oh, I have a tortoise the size of a basketball. I go and there, uh, there, there he is. I'm like, oh, really big basketball. Right. <laughs> what kind of basketball are you playing here? Yeah. <laughs> But he's been awesome. We love him. He's so cool. He's really neat. Yeah, I was telling your husband, like, I've had two of them, you know, uh, growing up. And they're cool, but they get big fast and they eat yeah. a lot. They eat so much. But you got lucky because this one's shell's pretty good. Usually they really have a pyramid good shell. shells. Really yeah. good. Even our baby, <laughs> our little one, Modi, has, like, a pyramid shell. Did they keep him outside, this yeah. one? That's why. You got all the sunlight. Hey, you missed a leaf. You missed a whole leaf. Now what? He's so spoiled, he loves getting hand fed. That's awesome. <laughs> Sorry, is it too high for you? My bad. Let's go. Yeah, just throw it. Just cradle him. Oh, you're like a baby. He does have long nails. But I'm sure you're used to getting scratched and stuff. <laughs> it's no problem at all for me. Hi, baby. You're so sweet. Do they make a lot of loud noises? Or? They yeah. they whistle like yeah. at night. They'll be like, see, really loud, like echoes. But luckily, it sounds like a bird. Because Brian's like, what if someone says something? I'm like, it sounds like a bird. We just It's like it's with the foxes. They sound like a bird. They screaming. sound so, yeah. Yeah. Oh, little squeaks. I know, he's being super vocal right now. He's so funny. <laughs> ah, careful, buddy. <laughs> you do sound like a bird. Oh, what? Do you want to burrow? Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. He goes like behind the couch. He's going to sleep. One, and so there's like a little box. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you like lift up, I guess, so that if like things fall, like it goes in there. Yeah. And he's always in there. He's got his own little den. I have a den. <laughs> he's going in your yeah. shirt. He'll go in. <laughs> How about just one now? <laughs> he's going in. Yeah. No manners. <laughs> Don't let this reflect no. my parenting skills. <laughs> this is the best thing that's happened. To me. <laughs> it's just, he's like, this is good enough. Right. He's like, I can't see you. I'm I'm cuddled in enough. <laughs> he's adorable. See the little one. All right, we're gonna go now. Okay, bye. And just take take him with us. <laughs> Let him sit on my base while I play tonight. I love my animal peeps that have weird animals. Yeah, you too. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> gotta stick together. <laughs> They're like, sorry, I talk about my animals too much. I'm like, please. <laughs> yeah, let's see the reptiles. Yeah, more toads. And there's one here There's too. There's so many. 
<laughs> oh, there's a third over there. Ah, <laughs> uh, they're everywhere. Yeah, they whistle. Ask, I guess. I guess it should be fine. We'll find out. Hi, buddy. <laughs> we have a busy house. Oh my goodness. Is he friendly? He's so friendly. Yeah, can I pet him? Yeah. He's like in a coma. Oh, it's such a baby. Yeah, they're sweet until they hit puberty. And then yeah. they're like, with strangers, it's not happening. Yeah, because a few of the ones you got were rescues pretty much from other people that just didn't want us. Yeah, didn't want the us kinkajus stuff. were especially. Oh, <laughs> the yawns. Oh, sleepy time. Yeah, they have like oh. literally a nap time every day they nap at like the same time. <laughs> Do you guys breed the bearded? We did, and, and I'll tell you, I will not ever do that again because there was just so many. Yeah. Like, she laid three clutches, and then we accidentally bred her to the guy because we had separated. I don't know what we did. We, like, the cage broke, so we had to put him in with her, but we couldn't put him in with her because she was pregnant. So then she got pregnant. So we had, and she laid two clutches. So we had like 75 bearded dragons at one point. And I'm like, oh my God, this is a disaster. I'm like, we yeah. have, I'm like, keep them apart. Yeah. No matter the like, like, because that was so intense. Do they all have names? Yeah. <laughs> I love naming everybody. Yeah. That's like my favorite part. I'm like, he's like, I'm going to get this. I'm like, oh, can't wait to name it. <laughs> you have to hold her. She's the sweetest. Oh, we have snakes? I don't care personally, but she's so like literally the sweetest yeah. thing ever. Sweetest thing okay. ever. <laughs> Around this way, it's the light. Yeah, she's super cool, super chill, dude. I'm telling you. Very just curious. She's a follow up, always curious, but dude, super chill. Yeah, the one thing that always got me was like they're the colubrids yeah. because they're all so fast and they're, Yeah, they're unpredictable. The one way they're this way, that way. Dude, I've only worked, as far as green anacondas, with two before, and they were juvenile. They were tiny. And these things, I tell you what, man, so unpredictable. One way they're going one way and the other way. Yeah, this, this one's, one's like really easy and, and like slow super, going. Super chill. What you she just see, wants right, to feel what you, secure. What you see is how she is at all times. Even I was blown away when I, when I, first, when I first got her um, because I'm they're not... They're not a beginner snake. They're not. No yeah. Tame. They're actually Again, a lot harder. She's captive, captive bred, and she's been worked with. Obviously, in order to keep it through this, keep working through it. This thing's gonna be 15, yeah. 16 feet. Oh yeah. yeah, bigger than that. Oh, usually my friend. Female. Gonna, that's the female. She's yeah, so she's yeah. gonna be big. She's gonna be big. They grow slow. She's only. She's only. She's two, and, and she's still. I think she's small, but um, the one that's coming right now, he's uh, he's a fourteen foot male, and he's. Big. You feel the strength on this thing? Yeah. For already being small yeah, and crazy feeding response. But you feed her outside, right? Outside of the um, enclosure? So I just got her. Everything her everything for the bigger snakes, I plan on doing like outdoor like exhibiting in the back. Yeah. But um, I'm saying like you gotta feed them somewhere I, else. So I don't, they don't, I don't associate that. Enclosure. No. I don't wanna do that just because I don't want them thinking every time I'm going up that I'm gonna do you know that I'm removing them to to, to feed. Oh, I see what you're saying. People yeah. have different views, though. People think it's the opposite. They don't want to yeah. you know, feeding in the enclosure because they think every time you open the It just depends on your habits. If you're um, going to be bringing this one out, you can't do that. Have, it's yeah. like, I can't do all that, you know? Um, separate the animal. Like, people with the bigger snake, they, they separate them when they feed. Now you don't feed them in the enclosure. So they don't go after your hand, like, when you go pick them up for and sure. that whole when, thing? For sure. For the bigger ones, especially the one that's coming. I don't even know how I'm going to do that one. <laughs> You're gonna have um, to put two separate doors, just like the uh, yeah, lemurs. The one that's coming, I'm, I have to have an outdoor, yeah. something crazy outdoors, just gonna house it on a bigger, bigger snake. Yeah. And then what I want to do is uh, fatten her up by next year. Honestly, really, so I can do it and get uh, get some babies, man. 
Next step is uh, like a sanctuary. I'm gonna open up town. I'm gonna go uh, somewhere out here out west. But there's nothing in this area like parking, Cold Springs. So we'll see what we're